Hey guys, welcome back to the Engineering Crucible. We're going to be doing problems uh, from the fundamentals of Chapter 7, the very first few of those. Okay, uh, I'm doing these because, you know, a subscriber mentioned, hey, I should do some of these. Uh, that's why I ask you guys to leave some comments, that way I get some ideas, and then proceed to do the problems that you guys are struggling with. i love to help you guys. Alright, so... Let's start with these, okay? So first thing, before we do any of this, okay, of the new stuff, let's go back to the basics. In these, in these uh, problems, you have to find the reactions first. So here I have a pin connection, so it's AY and AX. You know, most likely AX is gonna be zero, as you can tell in this one, there's no other X force to uh, counteract this one, so that's a zero. And then we have a little roller here, so by okay so let's just do the very first few things so fy equals zero i have a y plus by um, minus 10 minus 15 okay if this was 15 then you know it's symmetric so you know that each one would hold 15 but because it's not then you kind of have to do this okay so we know a y plus by is equal to 25 kilonewtons. Let's take a moment about A, okay? And then we know that this 10, 10 kilonewton force is pushing the structure clockwise, okay? So minus 10 times 1.5. And again, this 15 newtons pushing it clockwise, okay? So minus 15, times 3, 4.5, right? And then by is going to counteract that and go counterclockwise. Um, so yeah, clockwise, clockwise, and then this one's counterclockwise. And that'll be 1.5 times 4, so that's 8. No, sorry, 6. I was like, no, that doesn't add up. Okay, 6 equals zero. So then here I can find what by is. My reaction force at b 10 times 1.5 plus 15 times 4.5 divided by 6. Okay, it's a nice number. 13.75 kilonewtons. And then now we know that plugging it back into uh, this, you know, this equation, we know that ay it's 25 minus that, 11.25. Bada beam, bada boom. Okay, so we have by and ay. Now we're gonna do the the meth, you know, sort of method of sections from last chapter with some new added stuff. Okay, so they want the internal forces, internal reactions at C. So we're gonna cut right through C. Okay, they're telling you exactly where to cut. And now you have a choice. Analyze the left-hand side or the right-hand side. Okay. And if you watched my other videos in this chapter, I usually say, let's just go with the left-hand side. Okay. So draw everything to the left of this. So here is my beam up to point C. Okay. And at point C, because we're drawing the left-hand side, this is the notation that you want to adapt. The normal force goes to the right, so let's call it NC. The shear force points down, so it's actually on C, but because you know I don't I don't want to draw like right on top. Okay, I draw a little offset. Okay, so this is going to be VC. So V is going to be shear force from now on. Wait till mechanics of materials, and you'll see it more often. And then your moment, you're going to assume kind of clockwise. Okay. So this is your notation for now on. When you look at the left-hand side. All right. So let's see. What else do you have here? We have AY right here, 11.25. And we have... Uh, 10 kilonewtons. Okay, and that's it. 
We don't have anything else. Oh yeah, and AX is zero, remember that. So now all you gotta do now is just f of x, right? And c, nothing else, equals zero. Okay, you found one of the three. f of y, we have 11.25 minus 10 minus vc. What's that? So that's gonna be 1.25, so then vc is 1.25 kilonewtons. That is the shear force experienced at that point. And then last but not least, let's take a moment at C. Okay. Well, don't don't forget about this moment. Okay. This is already being applied at C, so you have to include it. So it's going to be MC, right? Positive because it's in the counterclockwise direction. Then we have 11.25. 11.25 is trying to spin it clockwise, right? So it's going to be minus times a distance of 3. Right? Don't forget that. 1.5. 1.5. And then this 10 kilonewtons, which is going counterclockwise. Okay. And notice how MC didn't have a distance because it's already a moment. Okay, This is a force times distance, which equals a moment. Don't mean to explain that to the advanced people, but if we have newcomers and stuff, then that's why. All right, so now let's do... Um, okay, so let's just look for MC. And once we find MC, we're done. So MC will be 11.25 times 3 minus... 10 times 1.5 and we get 18.75 kilonewton meters okay and that's it so those are the three reaction forces at C all right that's what they're asking normal force shear force and moment at point C all right guys that was pretty simple I look forward to seeing you in the next videos Thanks, guys. Take it easy.